Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to SCP-2149. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2149. Object Class, SATE. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2149 is restored in a small environmental self-contained chamber which has been fitted with internal radiation shielding sufficient to contain all naturally occurring radioisotypes. This chamber will also be equipped with internal Geiger counters and air quality sensors, as well as audio-slash-video surveillance. SCP-2149 is to be securely attached to a hardened steel support frame of sufficient height to allow a similarly hardened portable collection bin of at least two a cubic meter of at least two cubic meter capacity to be positioned under the output opening of SCP-2149. No personnel may enter SCP-2149 and containment chamber during a production event. After a production event, press on to enter the containment chamber and remove all materials produced by SCP-2149. All materials produced are to be sorted by type and disposed of or sanitized in place of storage as appropriate. All standard safety protocols for handling and cleaning radioactive material and waste must be observed by all personnel assigned to SCP-2149. A safety cap is in place over the, the hopper opening of SCP-2149 to prevent accidental introduction of materials or body parts into SCP-2149. Description SCP-2149 is a universal model 1 a meat grinder slash chopper. A cylinder of unknown material which is superficially similar to layered sheets of carbon nanotubes has been fused by unknown means to the body of the grinder and replace the end crank. The grinding in auger continually rotates and no means to stop or prevent the rotation of SCP-2149's auger has been found. The auger has been observed to rotate faster when, produ when producing lighter materials materials and the slower one producing in heavier metals. During a production event, no material should be placed in the hopper opening. SCP-2149 exhibits low-grade radioactivity due to suck to cumulatively absorbed radiation. An attachment for filing sausage casings has been fused over the out Foot portion of SCP-2149. This attachment is composed of the same material as the drive cylinder. Based on wear patterns and radiocarbon dating of service samples, the item was manufactured in late in the early 1920s. The modifications have not been accurately dated. The metal components of SCP-2149 are, are in good condition for their age and show minimal corrosion. Daily at 0000 UTC, SCP-2149 will begin a production event. During a production event, metal will begin issuing from the opening of SCP-2149. This metal is 97% to 99.99% pure elemental metal. Material introduced into the, to the input hopper during a production event will be integrated into the produced metal. Even if the auger could not normally break down the material introduced. This integration is simple or combination rather than alloying, much like a, a grinding two kind two different kinds of meat. Research is ongoing as to the mechanism that allows the iron auger to break down otherwise harder and stronger materials in addition to the mechanism that prevents introduced materials from combining with the expelled or at all. Metals express that's why the objects are produced in a plasma state, though they quickly cool and solidify. In the case of metals that are not solids or near room temperature, they will liquefy as normal. Production events will continue for a number of minutes, equal to the atomic weight of the metal being produced. SCP-2149 has been observed to only produce metals which can exist in a stable form. But the Lloyds, non-metals, halogens, thermal gases, and elements with no stable isotypes have not been recorded as having been produced by SCP-2149 to date. No pattern has yet been determined as to which metal SCP-2149 
and will produce. However, SP2149 seems to produce iron, copper, zinc, gold, and lead at statistically higher values than other metals. And it's produced at a 3.51 to 1 ratio to all other metals. Copper is at a 4.23 to 1, zinc at a 3.78 to 1, gold is at a 1.63 to 1, and lead at a 6.66 to 1. Due to the radioactivity of the item, all metals produced with it also exhibit an elevated level of radioactivity. Instant Alpha 214929. At an unknown date at 7pm at at, or 000 UTC, SV2149 began a production event. Level 2 research assistant and redacted Allen was assigned as, to, as supervisor to D. 11279 and the D2476, who were assigned to collector duty. Bob had positioned the collector hopper under the opening of a SV2149, while Alex lay nearby with a portable sprayer filled with water to aid in the cooling of emitted metals. SV2149 was known to be radioactive at this time, but the low radioactivity was measured to be within 8 exposure levels. Both the class personnel were Equipped with personal dots aiders and briefed on their use prior to the incident. This was in accordance with containment procedures as written at the, the time. From 7 o'clock to 7.06 XPF um, of a local. Bob and Alex engage in trivial chatter. Transcript has been omitted for brevity and irrelevance. At 7.07, SCP-2149 had produced enough material to reach the bottom of the collection bed. Alex began spraying the heated material. Bob was laying on the collection bed with his back to Alex. This was in violation of safety protocols as neither individual was able to see the other's oscillator. R.A. Allen did not call out this violation of protocol. At 8.03, Bob had begun grimacing and rubbing his abdomen, suggesting stomach upsets or pains. Alex was partially obscured by steam. Ugh, man, I'm sorry to get that chill mac for lunch. <laughs> you'll learn to stay away from the chat oh, 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 and you all been here as long as I I have. Ugh, damn, my lunch ain't sitting too good neither. Where have they got a batch of bad meat? At 8.16 local, Bob covered his mouth and clutched his abdomen. He was visibly pale. Alex, soft spraying the metal emerging from a SCP-2149, moved to check on the Bob. He was also vis visibly pale and sweating. I accept Bob's shoulder. Yo, man, you okay? You... Alex looked up at the camera, waving his, his arms. He was clearly in, in pain. Yo, hey! Hey man, can we get a break in here or something? My boy here looks like he's about to hurl. Oh man, I ain't feeling too good either. Come on, man. At 8.19, indeed, I mean, Alex continued his attempts to get the attention of R.A. Allen. His language quickly ascended to bit issues and invective of sanities. During this time, Bob had begun to, had begun to vomit profusely. He was curled on his hide. On his side, both arms wrapped around his abdomen. His expression and posture clearly demonstrated severe ab abdominal pain. Alex was bent at the waist, his hands raised on his knees. He appeared to be trying to keep from vomiting. All personnel must remain within the containment chamber while production event is active. Please refrain from extraneous activity and perform the tasks assigned to you until the production has ended. Alex looked into the camera again. His facial expression appeared to be a mixture of rage and pain. His mouth moved as if speaking or shouting, but remaining audio was missing. Later, later testimony of Ari Allen indicated he shut off the audio feed due to the increasingly hostile tone of Alex's dialogue. At 8.22 to 10.48, the 
remainder of the video footage showed both Bob and Alex succumbing to what is later identified as severe radiation sickness. Alex was noted for positioning and Bob in such a way that he did not aspirate his vomit before finally letting him suffer in a similar position to wait for the end of the production event. At 10.58, the production event ended. As a result of this incident, it was discovered that SP-249 and is able to produce radioactive metals in addition to mundane metals. During incident Alpha-2149, SP-249 SCP produced 1.87 cubic Eaters of 98.62% uh, pure uranium-238. Subsequent investigation of the incident revealed that R.A. Allen had not been watching the video monitors nor monitoring the personnel under his supervision. His negligence and behavior resulted in the death of both the class personnel involved in the incident and the unnecessary exposure of five others to dangerous levels of radiation, as well as the irradiation of a large portion of Star Oich Wing in, in Devil A-23. In light of his actions, Ari Allen was treated with Class A amnesis and dismissed from the Foundation with no identity restoration provided. For his efforts in caring for and attempting to aid his fellow D-Class, Alex Redact was posthumously restored to full instance to add of the Redacted. An executive kin provided with a standard supervised survivor's benefit appropriate to a Level 1 employee. That was SCP-2149. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!